This exhibition is uh, MoMA at NGV, 130 Years of Modern and Contemporary Art. And it's a cross-section, uh, an overview of uh, the collection of the Museum of Modern Art in New York, starting with works around the 1880s and going through works made a couple of years ago. So really uh, spanning the whole range of MoMA's collection and MoMA's story of modern art of the last 130 years. MoMA's collection is really you know, very unusual in that it contains a whole array of media and this exhibition reflects that with inclusions such as machine art, digital media, live performance and video games. Throughout their long history, almost 90 years, they've always collected contemporary art and that's quite a brave thing for museums to do and they've managed to collect within that period some of the most outstanding examples of contemporary art. MoMA's role is, I think like every institution that sets itself that task, um, is confronted with a great challenge. And that challenge is to arrest an object in time, to preserve it precisely how it was at that moment when it was created or acquired. And that inevitably is in conflict with the nature of objects themselves. They deteriorate, they change. And to me, it's important that we experience it firsthand. I think there's nothing that can replace the experience that you have directly opposite an artwork experiencing in real time, in reality, not in some form of documentation, but, but physically directly opposite from you. What we've tried to do is tell 130 years in eight coherent sections. And over time, as you go through the exhibition, you start to see these interesting parallels between these periods. For example, at the very beginning of the show, we see how artists responded to the rise of the new metropolis at the end of the 19th century. Through to periods like in the 1960s, when you see artists really looking outward to the big issues of their time, whether that was civil rights, feminism, the war in Vietnam. You see both the impact of digitization and the digital world, but also you see the impact of migration and people's movement around the world. Understand that art looks at the basic questions of life that surrounds us and respond to it critically, celebratory, in ways that it purely depicts what is there, in ways that tries to fundamentally change it and move it forward. The relationship between art and life are at the core of everything that you will see in this exhibition. I think the great gift that an exhibition like this gives you, because it is 130 years of art, that means that you do have artists such as Paul Gauguin or Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec, as well as going through Picasso and Braque, the Cubists, uh, through futurists such as Umberto Boccioni. You have an incredible focus on de Stael and the art of Piet Mondrian, pop art with Andy Warhol and Liechtenstein, through to such iconic names as Frida Kahlo, René Magritte, Salvador Dali. Uh, then uh, you come up to the present with artists such as Cindy Sherman and Kara Walker. I sometimes say that an exhibition is a book written in space, in that the way you move through, the way you see one work after the other and are able to construct correspondences, dialogues, oppositional pairs between different works is the way you begin to understand how a certain narrative unfolds. A lot of the work brings joy and um, an amazement at human creativity. And what's fascinating as you go through these eight sections of the exhibition is you begin to see connections between them and understand how certain ideas or currents do recur throughout history. At its best, art is so rich with potential, and so rich with interpretation that there is no one way you can present it, the same way that there's no one way you can understand it. Everybody will get something else out of it, and that's great.